I'm back. Road Rants for the Matrix and Road Show. Well, for horror fans, I'm going to say this name. You're immediately going to think of a couple of films. Julian Sands. Warlock. Of course, the uh, Warlock movies, A Room with a View, Arachnophobia, Leaving Las Vegas, Dexter. I don't know how many uh, TV uh, films, movies, this guy has been in. He's one of the most recognizable actors. I mean, as soon as you see him, you're like, oh, my God, it's Warlock. Uh, yeah. So this is a horrible video to have to make. But I saw this this morning, and this news is starting to make the rounds now. Julian Sands is missing. He went missing in California in a mountain range. Oddly enough, to you Friday the 13th fans, he went missing in an area called Crystal Lake or the Crystal Lake area. I mean, tell me how weird that is. Um, I saw this and was like, you know what? I'm making a video on that because I was a huge Julian Sands guy. Back in the early 90s, a room with a view actor, Julian Sands 65, is missing. And this mountain range is known to be deadly. In an extremely dangerous Californian mountain range after a winter storm. Jesus. Friends pray for news as the police use drones to hunt the British star who vanished six days ago hiking in an ice-bound area north of L.A. Now, he is, by the way, a very, very avid outdoorsman. All right? Uh, so this wouldn't be his first rodeo in probably doing something like this. But it's got to worry you. It truly does. British actor Julian Sands has been missing for nearly a week in an extremely dangerous California mountain range where two hikers have died in recent weeks, it has emerged. Sand, 65, who is known for his roles in Oscar-nominated films, including 1985's A Room with a View, was reported missing by his family at around 7.30 p.m. last Friday after disappearing during a track in the Mount Baldy area of California's San Gabriel Mountains. Officers had to abandon the ground search on Saturday as a storm swept in, and it has not been safe to send rescue crews back out on the ground since. Jesus. Instead, experts have been using helicopters and drones to search for the actor in the mountainous area just 40 miles from the center of Los Angeles, where Sands has lived since 2020. A car believed to belong to the Killing Field star, has recovered yes, was recovered yesterday evening near Mount Baldy, considered one of the most dangerous climbs in the U.S. Wow. I mean, I'm in Texas. I had no idea that was, you know, that that was actually a thing uh, that close to Los Angeles. The father of three, a keen outdoorsman who has climbed mountains all over the world, starred in 1985's period drama A Room with a View alongside the legendary Helen Bonham Carter also appeared in the Killing Fields, Arachnophobia, Leaving Las Vegas. His TV credits include absolutely one of my favorite shows, 24, and another one of my favorite shows, Smallville. Damn. Sands has two daughters with U.S. journalists and Gina Siskwatsky. I know I didn't jack that up who he married in 1990, and a son, Henry, with his first wife, Sarah Sands, the former editor of BBC Radio 4's Today program. Uh, Sands has often spoke about his love for nature and his wonderful outdoor lifestyle and has traveled around the world carrying out daring climbs. I would love to do this kind of thing. He previously told Thrive, Global that his expeditions during COVID lockdowns were about supplication and sacrifice and humility. He added, it's not so much a celebration of oneself, but the eradication of one's self-conscious and so on. These walks, you lose yourself. You become a vessel of energy and harmony, hopefully with your environment. I mean, two days ago, I was just an old guy begging people for water at a trailhead in Santa Monica Mountains. Who cares if you're a film person? I was just 
someone very grateful for the kindness of strangers. In the early 1990s, Sands revealed he came close to dying while climbing. He said, I was in the Indies caught in an atrocious storm about 20,000 feet with three others. We were all in a very bad way. Some guys close to us perished. Wow. We were lucky. He once even conducted an entire interview with from the face of Malengi Ridge on the Elger Mountain in the Swiss Alps. A separate search is ongoing for another hiker, California resident Bob Gre- Gregory, in the Crystal Lake area of the mountain range. Okay, so maybe, maybe he's not in this exact Crystal Lake area, but he's close. I guess there's a couple of known names. Again, I'm in Texas, so... A spokesperson for the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department said on Friday at about 7.30 p.m., a hiker identified as 65-year-old Julian Sands of North Hollywood was reported missing in the Baldy Bowl area of Mount Baldy. Search and rescue crews responded and began a search. Due to trail conditions and the risk of avalanche, the ground crews were pulled off the mountain on Saturday evening. I can't believe this is like 40 miles from L.A., However, we continue to search by helicopter and drones. When weather permits, we will schedule another ground search when the weather improves and it's safe for our ground crews. Anxious friends and former colleagues of Sands, also starred in the supernatural horror film Warlock, have taken to social media to send their well wishes. Man, that's that's crazy. Uh, film producer Cassian Elway's brother of Robin Hood star... Carrie Elways and a family friend of Sands said, I've known since Friday that my friend Julian Sands has been missing on Mount Baldy. Oh, man. That's that's absolutely crazy. Meanwhile, Sheriff's Department have, has warned that severe weather on the mountain has been difficult. Air resources are limited. While it's searched, the rescue team has been called out to 14 incidents. In the last four weeks alone, it has urged hikers to think twice before walking trails amid extremely dangerous conditions. And there he is right there. Uh, This is in 2020. Wow. I mean, this is just absolutely crazy. It comes as two people have died in recent weeks while attempting to scale the same mountainous area, one of the most popular trails in L.A. Crystal Paula Gonzalez, a mother of four described as a dancing hiking queen, is understood to have slipped and plunged 700 feet down the Baldy Bowl. A helicopter was immediately dispatched and soon found Gonzalez down on the steep, icy hillside, surrounded by numerous helpful hikers assisting in any way they could. On December 28th, Jarrett Cho, 43 from L.A., was hiking the Ice House Canyon Trail, when he fell near the Ice House Saddle Ridge Line. He was found two days later after a search hampered by extreme weather conditions. And on December 17th, four people had to be rescued by helicopter from the mountain range after icy conditions made it impossible to move. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Wow, two hikers did not survive I guess in the past four weeks, it looks like, wow, wow, that is absolutely nuts. Now, like I said, I mean, Julian Sands has been in all kinds of things. Just bring up his IMDb. It's crazy the kinds of things he was in, television shows. But again, as a horror fan, I mean, you're thinking arachnophobia. You're thinking warlock. Um, Man, he's always been a phenomenal actor. Smallville, I had forgotten about that till they brought it up. But yeah, he was in Smallville. Absolutely. Um, man, just, just, this is horrible news. Man, I just pray that they find Julian Sands uh, safe and alive at this point. It's not a good sign. This is Thursday. So this news is just kind of getting out. And I guess they haven't been looking since Saturday? Is that what it said? Wow. Wow. Uh, Except by air, it sounds like. Because it's too treacherous to get through there, I guess, on the ground. 
And this is 40 miles from L.A. Wow. You wouldn't expect that kind of mountain that close, I guess. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.